Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's, that won't work, do you know, for today's uh, first video. Day 10 will take us to the 5th of April and we'll be able to extend it up beyond that. We'll extend it to your fair so some ensembles. Maybe we'll around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of April. I shall get time back for you in a moment. Just save that first video today with our 16 UK weather forecast. And we've also released the extended EC Pertisaya as well for the UK and for us at York 2. Please check out all today's pieces of content. Just show to everybody for doing that. Now, fluffy merch. Here we go, everyone. You've still got time to get your fluffy merch in. You've got until Friday, good Friday, to place your order for fluffy merch. We've got cups or mugs. We've got coasters. We've got pins. And inside the mugs, we've got chocolates as well, cream eggs, mini eggs, and also Maltesters, keeping the funny thing going. Um, though all you need to do to order that is to send £15 to the guys worth his PayPal account. You can find the link to that in the description with this video. Send 15 quid with a little note saying it's for fluffy merch. And uh, we'll get that out to you. We can now no longer guarantee delivery before Easter, though, due to, you know, the uh, post office uh, being closed and not delivering and that um, on Good Friday and Easter Monday. And, of course, there's Easter Sunday as well. So, um, no, you, you know, you've got until Friday, until Good Friday to order your fluffy merch, but you'll get it after Easter, potentially, especially later on. This week is you place your order. So the earlier you place your order, the better your chance of getting your fluffy merch before Easter. But it might not be until after Easter that you uh, receive it now. But thank you so much, everybody, for getting involved with this. We've had loads and loads and loads of orders. It seems to me there are lots of fluffy fans out there. So <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I've got to bring it back. Maybe I've got to go into negotiations. Well, Richard and I, maybe we've got to go into no negotiations and bring her back for another season. Um, I don't know. She's on the run, though, at the minute. She's on, she's on, she's hiding out in a farm in Iowa, I think. That's the last I heard. I uh, to get into debt with the mob in LA. So, uh, we'll see. If I can track her down, maybe we'll bring her back. Cause it does seem like there is a lot of fluffy fans out there. But thank you so much, everybody, for getting involved, to be serious. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting involved. Uh, and uh, ordering your gas well with fluffy birch. And uh, as I say, you've still got to uh, Friday to be able to place your order. Thank you so much. Right, OK, let's have a look at the central temperature. Remember, seating is uh, currently sitting at 8.1, which is 2.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 25th of uh, March. I think that's going to come down to 7. So we'll be very interested to see where that finishes up, because, of course, we have February at 7. Point eight. So if that drops to 7.7 .7 or under, um, then we are having March colder than the February before it, um, which is quite uh, amazing, really, because it will still be a significantly mild than average March, you see. So you can get that if, like, February is uh, very mild and then March comes out quite cold, something like that. But to have a very mild March after an even milder February, though, is, uh, <laughs> is quite something. So be interesting to see where that lands up. Of course, we'll know by the start of uh, next week. These were GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're looking at Northampton. Today, local to me, if that's if that's the right event, but if you want to look at my local town today, uh, the red line is uh, the 30 year of the air temperature average for Northampton. Hopping close to average at the moment, a little bit more than average today, but a bit of a drop taking place in the next 24 hours or so. But really, the next week, it's going to be quite close to uh, average. Could be a bit of cold stuff showing up here. This is just after Easter through uh, like the middle of next week. Could be cold snap in that period, and then maybe getting milder from the first week into the second week of April. Of course, that's a long way off. There is loads of scatter in that period as well. So I would say from temperatures, like quite close to average, a little bit below uh, up to the weekend. Over the weekend, perhaps turns a bit milder down in the south temporarily. Could be cold snap for the middle part of next week, and then very uncertain. But more dramatic than um, the temperature is what's going on down here. Here. So they are the precipitation spikes 
And there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of them from beginning to end. You look at that and there's no sign of a break, really, over the next couple of weeks, is there? I mean, there will be, of course, dry interludes. But to be honest, that looks very, a very wet ensemble graph for the next two weeks. <coughs> so, sorry, everybody. And uh, all you can say about the deluge goes on. Some of those precipitation spikes are quite large as well. So, it all looks a little bit alarming. It's been very wet for several months now. The rivers are high. The uh, fields and floodplains are waterlogged already, you know, and uh, with, with a further deluge over the next couple of weeks, you have to think that there could well be further flooding concerns and flooding issues. So on and on and on and on, on it goes. Um, just never seems to end, really, does it, this deluge? But at some point it will, of course, but for the time being, next couple of weeks anyway, very wet conditions are continuing. Temperature anomalies from the 26th of March to the 3rd of April, about average, not a particularly big deviation either way. Precipitation anomalies from 26 March to 3rd of April, Western Average for Ireland, England, and Wales, near and all maybe for Scotland. Most parts of Western Europe looking uh, very wet, including Spain and Portugal, which of course is very useful rain for them. They'll be welcoming that uh, before the summer. Um, so, uh, they'll be capturing as much of that rain as they can, I would have thought, but uh, not as welcome further north across France and uh, Ireland and, and uh, the UK, where it has already been very wet. Latest winter map from Earth, no school dot net showing lots of low pressure all over the place in the Atlantic. One low is just to the west southwest of the UK and I day, have a low down towards Portugal. Further low pressure in the North Atlantic as well. Uh, so that's the reason that the coming day is going to be staying unsettled. Right, should we start going through the chart data then? We begin with the UK bet euro run for uh, midnight on Friday. Low pressure right out of the country. That will, that will be bringing lots of wet weather in with it. Into the weekend. No, oh, I, I know Friday is like the Easter weekend as well. But into Saturday and Sunday, Easter day, low pressure then starts slipping away to the south temporarily. And then starts trying to push back northwards again. As we go through Easter Monday, how far north this low gets will determine whether we uh, set up a washout Easter Monday or not. <coughs> Excuse me again, but if we do, it'd be most likely to be down in the south. Now, for the north, we're pulling in a northeasterly wind, and that's starting to drag some colder air into the north and the northeast of Scotland as well, there by the time we get through to big night on Tuesday, the 2nd of April. Oh dear, uh, I can't go. Low pressure right over the top of the country for Good Friday. Starts to ease its way southwards a little bit into Saturday and Sunday. Then pushes back northwards again as we go through uh, Bank Holiday Monday to Tuesday, bringing lots of wet weather in south, heavy rain there. Northeast winds starting to dig in with colder air pushing into Scotland. That's a setup by uh, midday next Tuesday, 2nd of April, as far as we go to with the uh, icon bottle. Loads and loads of northern blocking. Look at all of the high pressure towards Greenland and Iceland. That's as a result of the SSW, mainly, I would have thought. Um, and a real east north east is starting to set in. Cold air just beginning to dig in. It's north of Scotland again. Will we pull down these very cold upper air temperatures um, through the course of next week? We're not all that far from it. That does look quite poised to start dragging in some uh, pretty cold air there. KMA, again, with that low pressure dominating the weather on Good Friday, slips away into Saturday, Sunday. Uh, then the low pressure tries to come back north, but does it go come back as far north, actually, with the KMA? And what happens with the KMA is so it's just pulling an increasingly cold east and north easterly wind there. So that gets us to the middle of next week, next Wednesday, 3rd of April. A proper northeasterly wind, cold air digging in, we'll have the upper air temperature at the moment. But uh, you look about in the Ebert's April, you think that could well be dragging in snow showers into northern and eastern regions on those northeasterly winds. And then low pressure tries to push up from the south into that cold air. That gets us to the 7th of April, which I think is Sunday the 7th. Uh, low pressure tries to push north into that cold air, possibly brings some snow into the south, how the upper air temperature is looking with that KMA run, because it does look quite wintry, I have to say. So, um, not too bad with the upper air temperatures up to Easter, anyway. But beyond that, look at this, 2nd of April, that's when the cold northeast wind digs in. And that is genuinely cold and wintry air digging in there with the KMA. Minus 8 Celsius isotherm 
which pushes southwards, probably even by a 10 south iceberg, to far north of Scotland. So cold enough, you know, for snow showers to be coming in with both north and east winds. Staying cold, then, for the remainder of next week. Low pressure tries to come up from the southeast, milder of rare temperatures. Don't want to have a chance for snow event, if that was to verify. Even though it's April, um, that is a very cold and wintry KMA run for next week. Probably an outlier, um, but we'll see. So a GFS midnight run. He's looking for uh, midnight on Good Friday. Again, low pressure sitting out to the west of the country, so further wet weather to come. Below pressure then slips away to south or push back northwards again. That looks like it could be bringing a washout. Have to say, across England and Wales anyway, for Easter Monday. Looks a bit alarming. Um, you may need your waterproofs if you're off to the coast, you know, for Easter Monday. If you're off to Skeggy or somewhere like that, Yarder. Um, you might need your waterproofs. Um, through next week, it stays unsettled. Not as much uh, cold air digging in from the northeast as KMA is shown, but it does bring some cold air into the north and the northeast there from the middle part next week. But the main thing with the GFS is just keeps these areas of low pressure coming through next week. So, yet more rain to come. And into the extended range, we sort of set the northwest southeast alignment to ejection with further areas of low pressure at time too. That's assessed that by the end of the GFS midnight run, high pressure just begins to start ridging up from the southwest. That's the Zor's high, perhaps um, hinting at the arrival of some drier and warmer weather there. It's a long way off, two weeks away. And then we've got the GFS 6Z, all much and much is for Friday, low pressure in control, and then low pressure slips away from the south, we'll push back northwards again for bank holiday Monday, potentially bring some very Wet weather then, cold air just starting to dig into the far north of Scotland on those northeasterly winds by Tuesday. Otherwise, below pressures are actually holding up those cold northeasterly winds and keeping temperatures relatively viable for the early part of next week. But below pressures do eventually shift eastwards and start to allow cold air to push southwards. So by next Thursday, um, we are looking colder there with winds in from the northeasterly direction. That's set up for day 10. So next row pushes through, that punches through um, on uh, Friday the 5th, Saturday the 6th of April, and we pull wind back into the north again. So rather cold and winch, I think, and very, very unsettled with a GFS 6 f run through uh, next week. Um, after that, high pressure tapes over in the extended range. High pressure tries to get to Scandinavia, but it should be turning a little bit drier and uh, milder there into the second week of April. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather this week. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. We need to put on around 40 subscribers, I think, uh, to get ourselves to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, we will be eternally grateful. And thank you so much everyone for doing that. Now I've got to go to the Weather Outlook today for uh, the latest GEM run. Uh, as it hasn't updated at all. But, uh, so here we go then for a good Friday with a GM low pressure. Again, is in control and in the ascendancy. The low pressure slips away to the south through Saturday and Easter Sunday for pushing back northwards again. That's Easter Monday, 6 a.m. Easter Monday. Deep dartboard lows sat over England and Wales. It implies a bank holiday money washout. There, I'm afraid, with the, uh, with the GM, oh, uh, look at midday, Easter Monday, um, oh dear, <laughs> that's what you can say about that. Into the middle of next week, uh, we start to bring some cold air down from the north, but at least it does turn drier. Um, and that's set up up towards day 10, so still, like, blocking around Greenland, still low pressure close to the coast. I'm not sure it goes overly cold next week, certainly though when it was cold as like the KMA was showing, but it's chilly and it's unsettled and it's all looking a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit grim, I have to say. Can you take any more? We've got one more, <laughs> we've got one more bottle to go. Oh, uh, hang in there. Maybe the East uh, will uh, show something a little bit better. We'll see. Um, right, so, well, not much change from Good Friday, though. Low pressure right on top of the country for Good Friday. Into 
east uh, the uh, low pressure slips away to the south, then pushes back northwards again. That's big by east of Monday. Low pressure heading back into the south by Tuesday. The low pressure right over top of the uh, Inglewood. It's implying there's going to be lots of heavy rain pushing northwards on east of uh, Monday. At the same time, cold north east winds are digging in to the far north of Scotland as well. And uh, then into the middle of next week, it all goes rather slack. Low pressure choice coming from the Atlantic there by day 10. The East Shelf just looks very unsettled. It's not particularly cold, I don't think, for uh, next week. But it is very unsettled with more rain at times. This is the precipitation forecast based on that East Shelf run. We've got rain piling up from the south today, actually, which will turn to snow across parts of Scotland. It could be a snow event. From parts of Scotland tonight into tomorrow morning. Further showery dishes to come through tomorrow across uh, much of the country. And we've got more rain piling in for Thursday. Some of that turning to snow, maybe, across high ground of Wales and uh, Northern England as well. Showers along as well as rain for Good Friday and into uh, the Easter weekend, into Saturday, Easter Sunday. Further showers to come. Certainly could be a slightly drier day. There will still be showers around, but perhaps a little bit drier on Sunday. And then, amen, amen, this is Easter Monday, looking like a thoroughly wet washout Easter Monday there for uh, England, Wales anyway. Not as bad for Scotland and Northern Ireland, but that looks, <laughs> that looks about as bad as it gets, doesn't it? For an Easter Monday or for a bank holiday Monday. Um, so uh, it will be one to stay in and watch Gareth's weather bit. So we're doing a historic video for um, 1964 65, actually, uh, is our historic uh, video uh, this uh, bank holiday Monday. So we go back to the 1960s over the next two or three uh, bank holidays, and we're starting with uh, 64, 65, and spring to summer 65 as well. So it should be an interesting watch. <laughs> and as you said, you won't, you'll won't. you keep out of the rain, you know. So as you said, watch that, you, you won't get wet. Um, anyway, up towards day 10, it starts to turn drier. Um, into some snow for Scott, but otherwise not overly cold. More rain waiting in the wings there by day 10 itself. This is the option on the table within the ESHEP Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 5th of April. I drew a straight line there. 51 out of 51 members of the ESHEP Ensemble with blocking around Greenland. Low pressure centred across the northwest Europe. Looks very unsettled and potentially quite cool as well up to day 10. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 10th of April. 19 members of the ESHEP Ensemble will still bring deep low pressure in from Arctic Atlantic, looking very unsettled. 12 with low pressure. Whoops, over and to the west of the country. That looks unsettled. 2, 11 with high pressure up towards Greenland, low pressure in Oceania. And some high pressure just to the southwest. So that's trying to bring down some colder air from uh, the north. And maybe introduce something a bit milder from the southwest as well. And then we've got 9 with high pressure over. France, low pressure out in the Atlantic, and winds are coming up from the southwest. That will bring the driest, mildest weather into the south there. Now, a range of options, but generally, generally they all still look pretty low pressure dominated, I think, uh, even out to two weeks. CFS beats you finally. These are 500 millibar height and on. Come on, high to These are 500 millibar height and on. Bring down to week period. It's the first week period. It takes from the 26th of March to the 1st of April. But next week looks very, very, very unsettled with low pressure across northern and western parts of Europe. Week 2 will be the 2nd to the 8th of April. Low pressure again just to west southwest, keeping the unsettled where we go there. Has got northern blocking, but despite that, we're generally on the mild side of, uh, of, of the low and the block. Right, week three <laughs> will be the uh, 9th and 15th of April. Bit of a change. Higher pressure started to develop to the south and the east. That at very least turns things milder, should do, bringing up more of a southerly or southwesterly to southerly wind. And should turn a bit drier into the south anyway. And then uh, week four will be the 16th to 22nd of April with high pressure slightly to the east of the country. Low pressure is through here. High pressure down towards Spain as well. It looks like a uh, trend towards higher pressure here through um, through April. So they have a very unsettled start to April. 
CFS wants to settle things down from about the second week of the month onwards. We shall see. <coughs> oh dear. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And show everybody for doing that. Well, drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, show show everybody for um, doing that. It all looks a bit grim, <laughs> I have to say, doesn't it? But we'll get there. We'll get to some uh, drier and warmer weather eventually. I know we will. Let's all hang in there. <laughs> and uh, eventually we'll get something a bit drier and warmer, I'm sure. Right, just tell us what's happening on the channel. That's it for today's videos. Just tell us what's happening on the channel tomorrow. Number 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We might do another little update for uh, spring, have our uh, third and final, um, not spring, Easter, have our third and final Easter uh, update, and we'll have a 10 to 14 day for you as well, tomorrow as well, that's a video, not a live stream, um, so uh, that's it for today's video, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.